Hey guys, um, today we're going to show you how to put um, Windows 7 onto your USB. You're going to need Windows 7 USB DVD download tool. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description. It's off the Microsoft website. Alright, first thing you want to do is plug in your USB uh, flash drive. I recommend at least 4 gigs um, because you won't have enough space for Windows 7. You need 4 gigabytes. Um, and then you need your Windows 7 disk. So once your USB is in, you insert your you you start the application. You press yes, and then you give it a second. And then we need to choose an ISO file. But before we can choose an ISO file, you first need a program called IMG Burn. I will put a link to the description in that too. Um, you need to create an image from a disk. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to give it a second to pick up my disk, which I'm about to put in right now. And you put I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna record the whole thing because I don't know if a lot of people know about this program. So I'm just gonna show you guys the whole process. Um it's loading here. This is a, a really good program and it's also free. Alright then see it picked it up right here. Um, this is a Windows 7 Ultimate 32 bit and 64 bit. It has both, but it just says that. Um, we're gonna click on that and now we just wait. Just don't touch anything, just let it finish. It'll play uh, some music when it's finished. Um, I'll get back to you guys when it's almost finished. Alright guys, I'm back. It's about to finish, and I'll show you guys. It says it's going to be in my documents right here, so that's where I'm going to have to go get it. Alright. Yeah, that's the noise it plays. Yeah, you'll know when it's done. Alright, so it's in my documents, so I'm going to go here, I'm going to go here. I'm gonna go up oh, there it is I can close the program now and I'm gonna put this on my desktop for ease of use close this now all you need is this for I'm gonna select my ISO which is that that's an ISO file I'm gonna go to my desktop it's right there yep next um, you can either make a DVD from your ISO or make a USB, and that's where you gotta go to USB. I have my USB inserted, and it, right here, it's a uh, eight gig, but you can use a four gig, but um, you can use four gig and above. Yeah, that's what I would recommend. You don't have to format it or anything; it'll it'll do that for you. Just plug it in, and then you want to click Begin Copying. And it see it's, it formats it for you, so you make sure you don't have anything important on there. And I'll let it just let wait for this to do its stuff. Um, I'm not too sure how long this takes, but I'm gonna cut it and come back right before it finishes, so you guys can see it finish. All right, guys, I'm back. It's at 99 percent. Um, I didn't touch anything. I just let it go and it just finished um, there's a start over option and um, since I finished I'll just close it alright now you guys have your Windows 7 onto your removable disk which is my flash drive um, see got everything set up yep everything alright so if you guys if you guys want to install this on your drive you guys can just plug in your USB and click setup 
or if it's your first time ever installing Windows on your computer like it's a custom build or something you select go into the BIOS and make sure USB boot or something is selected first for the boot order and make sure it has you have a you have it plugged in um, or you can just click setup from here which will set it up if you already have an OS alright guys so that's how you do um, Windows 7 DVD to USB I'll put a link for the Windows 7 USB DVD and IMG Burn in the description. Um, thanks for watching, and I'm going to go to my friend's house right now to build a custom PC. Um, I'm going to be recording a build log, and that's going to be up too, so you guys make sure you to watch that and subscribe.